AJ Key Podcast. We in the building, season three, episode two. Yo, we got a little Roddy in the building. First and foremost, man, I want to say congratulations on your latest, you know, achievement. You got signed by Legacy Records, man. Lil Roddy, he's a man that's been putting Shout on for a long, long time. He got signed to Legacy Records, and he's been living out that, that almost that Cali life. There's yeah. A lot of, you know what I mean? A lot of Vegas out there. So mm-hmm. I want to say congratulations on that, man. From the Appreciate town, it. From AC, you putting on, bro. Appreciate it's, it. Ever since I met you, bro, you know, you, you've really been a, a person that utilizes your craft and an artist that, mm-hmm. that keeps putting on. So right. I want to, you know, before you go any further, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's start with your name, right? Yeah. You know, I got the story before, but for everybody that's watching Major Key Podcast that has it, how you get that name, bro? So my dad, my dad always had like a, a Rottweiler with him, like when we was growing up, when I was little. And everybody called him uh, Big Tim Dog. And I was just, he named me Lil Roddy. I was the puppy. So right, right. That's how I got my name. My yeah, dad yeah, gave yeah. me that shit. Your style of music, your crap, where you did you develop that? At a young age, that had mm-hmm. to be something that you like. came upon and started doing, because your style is different, bro. Mm-hmm. How, where you get that style from? Like I grew up listening to um, Lil Wayne and uh, Meek Mill when I was little. I was like like nine years old. I was like, I want to do that. I want rap. Word. So like I was studying them for a little bit. I still like listen to Meek and Lil Wayne. So like then I heard Lil Dirt and I started hearing the new people. So it just like kind of switched and transitioned and. and in here, Roddy, like, yeah. now this is my sound, like, yeah. I can I, uh, put Lil Wayne, Meek Mill, and Juice World, Dirk, I put them all together, together like, in into plan. my, yeah. yeah. And you do got that Juice World uh, sound or that Juice World uh, um, genre. That's my, yeah, yeah. You know, that joint, Destiny, your latest joint you just came out with, that joint's official. That's you me shot crazy. That in, in, in yeah, the bottom, right? big, yeah. yeah. That shit did 100K. You will see that on YouTube right Word. now. Go check it out right now. So That's YouTube, we're not right now. After this episode, or after you're done watching this episode, go check it out. Little Roddy Destiny, man. That video is official. But um, going mm-hmm. back, as I said, from your childhood, when did you tap in? When did you develop yourself within this um craft or this culture mm-hmm. to have the craft that you have? What well, what age was it? And um, when did you feel like, man, this is Little Roddy right here? You feel me? Um, in high school, freshman year of high school, I took it serious. I was playing around with it and like. Middle school and before that, I was playing around with it. And like when I got to high school, I was like, nah, let me just take this shit serious. My mom got me a, a laptop in the studio. And I was like, after that, like I'm locking in. So I taught myself how to record myself on uh, YouTube. And shit. Yo, so don't like, that seem mad satisfying just, when you learn that shit and then you put it together and you really, you really do it. Yeah. You put a whole song together with your own vocals, mm-hmm. your, your, you know everything, and then you produce it, you make the beat. Yeah. By the end of the joint, you're like, bro, I did that. Yeah. Not too many people, not too many artists could say they could right. do something like that. Mm-hmm. It's a whole nother world to be a producer. But go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. And engineer too. Yeah, engineer, and then engineer yep. too. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's basically how how I started. Like high school, I went crazy. Like I locked in with my boys. Then I think after that, like 2018, 2019, I start making beats. I was like, fuck it, I don't wanna get no beats off YouTube no more. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. just locked in producing. We just taught Word. ourselves how to uh make beats on FL Studio. Word. And the rest was history. Fisher, FL Studio Fisher. I still yeah. use FL Studio. I fuck with FL. Yeah. I got that, I feel that, that shit. The highest bundle where you got everything included, bro. The producer yeah. what's this called? The, the producer edition? Oh, the signature, the signature joint. Bundle. Okay. Edition. That, bro, you can't go wrong with that. No, nah, you can't. Because I'm pretty sure you tapped into that and you went crazy. After yeah. you find your way around and you mm-hmm. navigate, bro, the stuff you could do on there is endless. Yeah. It's endless, bro. So, when did you, easy. When you sat around when you're a teenager, you started messing with FL Studio? Yeah, nah, yeah, like after high school. After like, high school? Yeah, after high school. I graduated 2018, like 2019. Where? I tapped into the beats. Word. So you started as a as a you know a lyricist, I would say. Yeah, you know, I started lyricist. rapping. Started, was it, was it rap engineer. or was it the way your style is now? It was, is it the same way or not? Mm, I feel like I was rapping more back then. But like now I'm melodizing and shit right. on the track. So, which you know was, what that shows the growth within you know yourself because 
to be able to do and, and catch those melodies and to do things like that, that means you know how to put a song together. Right. It's not like you over here BSing and mm -hmm. just throwing bars on this on this on the track. Like, yeah. what are we doing? Right. Like, bro, bar, like four Seven. bars and then four bars and then the, they got a whole yeah. song. Like, damn, mm -hmm. bro. You know songs like that? Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. My nigga, he yeah. said that shit, I don't know how many times throughout that song. And, and that it was blew the song. Up. Like, I don't and even it blew. That blew. song got like, mad. If you're making your bread like that, that's how you make your bread. But to the credit of a song, to the artist, of a person that really has that art form, mm -hmm. it does no justice. Right. You know, to a person like you that just pointed out melodies. A lot of people want to gotta have know. the melodies. Yeah, you have facts. to. Like now, that's all kids and everybody wanna hear is melodies. You know right. what I'm saying? How do you feel about ad libs? Are they necessary or are they um, something that depends on the song? Yeah, it depends on the song. Like Word. Yeah, that's that's yeah. It really depends on the song. I like money back, yo ad libs, cause he like he um he like talks in his ad. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain it. He like puts a bar in the ad libs. Right. He and backs makes, up what he's saying almost. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah, that shit dope. Yeah, like, yeah. I fuck with that. Pretty much, and that be a part part of the bar. Yeah, be that next punchline or that next word right. to, to to rhyme with the other. Yeah, yeah I get it, I get it. So your album, you still don't have a date on it? No, nah, I don't got a date on it, but I'm about to um drop a single on the 27th, and then a big feature on the next single, then an album. We should have a date for the album. Okay, okay. So you gotta stay afloat when you when you dealing with a label, bro, and um, you know you're in a good situation. Yeah. Your label looks. I see the shit, and I and your label looks like they shots the legacy records. They they taking care of you. Yeah. They had you at Hot Nine Seven at the Summer Jam. Yeah, joint. Summer that Jam. That was dope, bro. And Powerhouse. You, Powerhouse. Yeah. You know, they all put that you shit. In position. Plus the videos that just came out with that was shot by them. That was official. Yeah. What are you learning right now about your style, about yourself, where you want to be in the industry, and how you want to be as an artist? Um, I'm learning right now. Like, if you don't got your business together, your music will go nowhere. Word. So you gotta have your business together behind the scenes first. Before you gotta have that machine behind you. You know what I mean? You gotta have, cause you the you the CEO. You gotta make sure your team is working while you sleeping. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So that's what I that's what I'm learning right now. Like, yeah. and that, I got that. That's been something that you probably been learning for a while. Yeah. Since you've been going at it, cause those things come and go. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And you've been putting on two entrepreneurs over here, man. Listen, Bulani Elizabeth. Bro, how you forget Hold about on, that? He's still coming out with clothes. Mm -hmm. He's still coming out with clothes, man. I got a summer drop coming too. So be on the lookout. Facts, man. Yeah. Listen, this dude right here, he works on all different types of levels, I want to say. He got a lot of hats. And you and you mm -hmm. young, bro. Utilize this time, right? And I wouldn't say, like, you're not young, because a lot of niggas, they don't like to be called young. Not young yeah. like that. You young enough to get it done with the next 10 years, bro, you could be, well, you're going to be yeah. exactly where you want to be. I promise right. you, my nigga. Mm -hmm. But these years are crucial. I know. You know what I'm saying? And you I already know. in there. Yeah. You already in there. Get him to that, because we're going to fast forward a little bit. How'd you tap in with them? Listen, they, my uh, uncle overheard them talking about how they was going to start a label. And he was like, yeah, my nephew rap. Okay. And like, he showed them my songs and they fell in love with my sound, so. Word, word, like, word. I want, They hit me up like next day, going crazy. Damn, that's how you know the talent is there. It's just a matter of the right person here, you ready? You mm -hmm. feel me? That's it. Because look, now that's your label it. was putting you in a position for another nigga to hear you. Or yeah. somebody else to come through and snatch you. Yeah. You gotta go. Yeah. I tell niggas that shit all the time. When that, then that, that mm -hmm. phone They ring. open doors. Factual, bro. That shit open doors. Like. And how's it been since? Since you, you've been signed to Legacy Records. Good, so, man. You know, everything you've been doing, how's it been, man? How's life been, bro? Good, man. Good. I'm seeing different shit, meeting different people. Facts. Shit. I just met, Um, I was in Dre's. Shout out my boy Special. That's my aunt. And he had brought the, uh, his, his dad runs Atlanta Records. He had brought the son over. Okay. Shout out my boy Rylan. And we just connected from there, like, just like that. Sure. Yeah, when yeah. it's genuine, it's, it's, yeah. it happens. It happens. Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? It's, it mm -hmm. happens. And they the best relationships. Yeah, they the best relationships. What's your next move when it comes to, besides the album? Uh -huh. you, know, you got the name for the album? Yeah. What is it? It's called Falling In. Okay, at least you got that. Yeah. At least you got the name. <laughs> we're going, we're moving somewhere. We get some progress. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's called falling in because like I'm falling into the fame, the money, okay, everything. You know what I mean? Falling into that, the okay. industry now for real. I'm digging that, and that's and that's your debut, like mainstream, yeah. mainstream. Yes, yes, yeah, bro. All your other stuff is still on title, and, and, and 
you know, Spotify yeah. and everything like that. You want to keep that on there, but mm-hmm. this is your main, main joint, bro. This is just the baby right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I treat it like that. You feel me? So, uh, how many songs you got on there? How many tracks? Um, I might do like 12. 12? Yeah, 12, like 11. You got the selection already? Yeah. You got everything Yeah, now? yeah, I actually do. I'm recording more, but like I actually do. I got the whole album done, yeah. honestly. You just got to get mixed a little bit. Yeah, you got to have you gotta have more than, than enough. Yeah. Way, you know what I mean? You can pick so you can and pick. different labels going to say this. You know what I mean? Do, do you have a say-so on your albums and stuff? How's that situation? Not to tap too much into it, uh-huh. but how is it when you can say say-so like, yeah, you know, I want this song on there or not? But yeah, but yeah, we are like... We running shit like the artists. Burr. That's the freedom we get. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so that's how they got it. They got yeah. it over there, yeah. Because a lot of labels ain't like that, bro. Yeah. You're in a situation to win all the way around. Oh yeah, facts. A lot of labels they that's put the pressure on you as an artist to come out with these albums. These albums you really ain't down with. You want to stay to your original self, and it changes you as an artist. Mm. You're in a perfect situation, man. We a family at uh, Legacy. We a family over there at Legacy. Are you, you yeah. yeah. them? Family. You gotta be a family, bro. So you see yourself family. there for for a little while. Yeah. We'll right, fuck right. with legacy. Yeah. Which y'all got coming up um, as a collective, as a whole. Um, um, y'all be moving around. Y'all be I know town to town doing shit, man. So I don't know. We might do summer jam again um, in August. I don't know if they confirmed yet. We might do that. Right. And I was just talking to them about like a um, a whole tape. We we should drop a whole legacy tape. Yeah, That'd like a dope. compilation. Yeah. yeah. Like it's Yeah. It's a new label, exactly. right? They, yeah. They, they, they pretty much they knew, yeah. within the last three years they, they've been around. And and I well, heard the first I seen it on your post, matter of fact. Uh-huh. The first label to pay the, the artists in cryptocurrency. Crypto yeah. Salute to that, bro. That's no the, about all that. Yeah. Fuck the future. That shit now. Mm-hmm. And you already getting you know, getting them digits like that. So yeah. but um so wow. uh, going back, my bad. Mm-hmm. I cut you off. You said that the show in August, you're gonna to try to get back in summer jam. Yeah, we might do summer jam. And and powerhouse, and like we might do um what is I forget it's called a day in Vegas. It's what? like a big show in Vegas. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, just yeah. crazy, yo. Yeah, that that's shit, shit right next that, to my. I think that's towards the end of the summer, right? Well, it's in like November. Okay, yeah, yeah, towards, yeah, 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 towards the mm-hmm. end. Of the year. Yeah. You said the compilation is something mm-hmm. that you're looking forward to. Um, yeah. With the uh, with the with the with the label, but. Don't you want your album to come out first? Oh no, no, yeah, no, yeah. My album going definitely drop that first. That way people get a feel for it, little Roddy yeah. on the national and the national level as your first, you know, album before you get categorized yeah. as a group. You know? Right, yeah. Most definitely my shit dropping before that. Word, word. So stay tuned. Yeah, man. That shit gonna be crazy. You got any uh that destiny's on there? On that album or not? I think I don't know. I might not you put, put it. On. You got a video for it. Nah, nah, you're right, yeah. You got <laughs> That's that's gotta be the. You know how that the song began old and shit like fast, but I definitely it, got. I used to think that shit, real nigga shit. I used to put. I started with SoundCloud back in the day. Right? Yeah. I used to put you know my songs on SoundCloud, and I used to always think like, damn, these songs are old. These songs are get because you come out with so many, they yeah. get old to you because you heard them so many times. Mm-hmm. Bro, you know how many people ain't hear that song? I know. So yeah. it's new to them. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that mind frame with that mentality to be as an artist or as a producer, like, man, this shit old. Yeah, my nigga, it could be two years. Freddie Wap, that track. I know, yeah, shit. that two shit, later. two years ago. So, shit. you know what I mean? Keep pushing uh, yeah. that shit, bro. And you do. I see you promoting your stuff. Yeah. You know, with the label, they do a lot of promotion for you and they do things like that. You mm-hmm. still push your own stuff and, and that's a good thing, too, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, going back, uh, we didn't, we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back a little bit, back a little bit in time, right? Shouts to Madame O, executive manager for PMG LLC, also producer of Major Key Podcast. Um, coming up, when you found your style, when you found what Little Roddy is, you know, mm-hmm. did you um switch up anything? Cause you say you rapped a little mm-hmm. bit at first. Did you yeah. switch your style? When when was those those times that you remember? Like, damn, I was rapping like this. I was like, you know what I mean? I was singing more. I was. Mm-hmm. I'm Little Roddy now. Like, you know what I'm saying? In high school. In high school. Yeah, that's, that's when what... you really found it. Yeah. Well, no, no. Like I found it prior. Like I found my sound like 2019, but like I was so much different in high school. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? So Why do like, you think you had different influences around different people? Or yeah, something? like you know, exposed to different shit, learning. Yeah, learned more on the way. Where, where, where? You know what I mean. So that's basically it. Where? And it and came like, with growth. Yeah, I've been listening to your music since we've been, you know, working together, mm-hmm. and I've been listening. Any everything you came out since then, I've seen it grow, bro. Mm-hmm. I see it, yo, and and I could go I back. It. 
and listen to your old stuff. I and know. Still, you can still jam to it because that sound is a little rotty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you can hear the growth. Mm-hmm. Destiny, bro, that's, you can hear the growth in that song. Yeah, you, feel you can, yeah. yeah and, the, and the engineering, too, because I engineered that. You pretty much, so, you on some J. Cole shit. You tapping on everything. You yeah, know, you, you got to. Credits. You know, you can compose the credits. Shouts to, shouts to, you know, everybody that has their BMIs and, mm. you know, their GMRs and everything yeah, like that. Facts. You got to have the got. ass caps. You got to, yeah. Because Upload later on song. down the line, bro, you're going to blow. And mm-hmm. I promise you, listen, God first always. I always say this, bro. Mm-hmm. It could be tomorrow. And I hope it is tomorrow. But if your shit is not in line, you don't got that BMI ass cap. That's what I'm saying, you yeah. your own stuff, mm-hmm. bro, you ain't making no bread. You just worked all this time, potentially for nothing. That's like hitting the lottery and losing that I'm ticket. Losing the bread, like, yeah. Damn. You know, and your you got to have your business together, like I said. Facts. Before any of this shit. Um, let's tap into your clothes again. That way we can shout it out. Tap mm-hmm. into what you got going on with the line. Since I last seen you... You know, uh, where'd you go with that? And what vision do you have towards, you know, the future with the, with the closing line? Um, Lately, I've been talking to this guy. Well, we got the Valores on now. This is my vision. I want this like Valores sweatsuit did. Yo. I want it my I have a Valore in a minute. It's crazy, though. <laughs> it's about to get hot, though, so I'm about to drop something else. But um, I've been talking to this guy. Shout out to Kevin okay. Watson. Word, word. His clothes is actually in Neiman's and um, Urban Outfitters. I've been talking to him. He said he can go and get my clothes in there and shit. So okay, Urban Outfit. That's yeah, the future yeah. of Bulani. Okay, yeah. you want that store? That's yeah. where it's gonna blow. Yeah, I really want it in a designer store. <laughs> yeah, you want to start off mid to high. You know, yeah, where you at now? Not saying Kmart clothes is ass, but you want to represent your brand. And to do that outfit is that's a good place to do it to start. You Urban know, Outfit, your yeah. brand right away. Mm-hmm. You ain't shooting the Macy's. <laughs> you ain't that high yet, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you want to start at a good spot, and then, you know, you, you, bro, you're a real smart entrepreneur. You're a real smart dude when it comes to, you know, leaving your legacy behind, and leaving. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, your, your print here, bro. So I really appreciate your craft, everything you've done so far for the town, for this area. You've been putting on, bro. You've been really showcasing what it is to have work ethic yeah. and being, you know, an artist. You can go tomorrow, like, like you can blow tomorrow, shit. Facts, man. Yo, I'm going to start a new segment on Major Key Podcast. I'm going to let you hold the key. I want to ask you this question, man, mm-hmm. before we close the show out. I want to say to you, what's the, and I'm going to let you hold the key to the rest of the show. Hold the key. Listen, man, what's the key to, uh, to you? What's the key to success? You know, that for everything that you got going on, mm-hmm. life in general, however you see it, what's the key to success? Right here on Major Key First Podcast you got, for uh, Little Roddy. You got to love what you do and go after it. And you always got to stay authentic. That's the key. Okay. Just stay authentic, be you. Word. You know what I mean? And go 100 miles per hour on the gas. Don't stop? Don't stop. <laughs> you see your lane, keep going. You never know what God got in store for you, so. Word. Keep God first. Absolutely. That's a fact. Absolutely, man. And that lesson, that, that right there, you start with that. Mm-hmm. You can start with that. That's, that's, that's some, great, some great insight, man. Yeah. Little Roddy on Major Key Podcast. We're on all platforms Apple Podcasts, like Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Deezer, Pandora, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio. The list goes on and on. That's for the audio podcast. We're mm-hmm. also on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. As I said, this is season three, episode two. Again, congratulations on being Thank you know, you. The, a member of the Legacy Records and getting signed, officially signed to Legacy Records, man. Um, anything you want to tell the people out there, tell them where to follow you at. Let them know your, your camp. Everybody that's in here, shout them out. Shout out my Push boys, man. We got Doom. We got Peso on the back. We got Han. Shout out for Aaron Joe and uh, Tay60. So you can follow me on Instagram at Lil Roddy, L-I-L-R-O-T-T-I-E. On everything, YouTube, Apple Music, I'm everywhere. Facts. So get at me. The latest video that you had is Destiny, right? Yeah, and I got some shit dropping on the 27th. So, so make sure you tune in that. Make sure you tuned. follow him on, on, on YouTube. Subscribe yeah. on his YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Little Roddy. Mm-hmm. You know That's going know. up. We got 100K on Destiny, man. Facts. Keep running them views up. Shout out to my homie Little Roddy. We got it done. I'm going to be back. Yeah, facts. We definitely going to be yeah. back, bro. Season <laughs> 3, Episode 2 a Major Key Podcast. Like I said, we on all platforms. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the link below. Hit the notification. It was a pleasure having Little Roddy here tonight and everybody else in the building with us. We'll do it again. Major key, yeah, he's got the key. <laughs>